Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a dot plot and it shows the number of pets that students own in a class. And we need to find the fraction of the students that has two or more pets. And I know you might be thinking, how in the world do you get a fraction from a data set here that has no numbers? This is a dot plot, which means we just have some dots. There's no numbers here if you don't count the numbers that are on the scale at the bottom. Well, there is a way for us to get a fraction, so there is going to be a little bit of work we have to do here. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to total up each of these categories here. We don't even know how many kids are in the class. So we're going to have to figure out first how many kids are in the class, and then second, how many kids have two or more pets. So that's going to be our fraction. So I'm going to say number of kids... I'm going to say greater than or equal to 2, because that's what they said. Number of kids that are at 2 or more, so 2 can be included pets. That's going to be our numerator. And then we're going to need the number of total kids. We can figure out those two numbers. We can make our fraction. Because the fraction, the numerator is always the part we're looking for, which is right here. That's going to be our numerator. And remember the denominator is always going to be the total. So that usually it's the denominator is going to be the easy one to find. It's going to be the numerator. That's the one that changes from fraction to fraction because we're looking for different things. So let's see. How many kids do we have with two or more pets? We can look at that one first. So each of these dots just represents one. right? It's kind of like a pictograph in that way. There's no key that says each of these dots represent more than one. So let's just count them. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just gonna keep track down there. One, two. I've got one right there. One, two, three, four. All right. So if I add up my nine, my two, my one, and my four, let's see. Nine and two, one and four. Let's see. One and nine. That's gonna give me a ten. 12, 16. Okay, so I've got 16. So it looks like I've got 16 kids that have two or more pets. So that's good. Now, how many total kids do I have? Well, I've already gotten 16. Let's just keep adding to that. I've got 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so I've got 16 and then an extra 8. So here's my 8 right here, 5 and 3. So 16 and 8, that's going to get me 24. All right. So it looks like if you add all of these numbers, 5 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2 plus 1 and plus 4, you're going to get your 24, and that's your total. So here's my fraction. 16 kids have two or more pets out of 24 total kids because 8 of them had one or zero pets. And here's the problem. I see a 24 right there, but it's not 1624. So you do all of that work, and with a fraction, you're probably never done. Because what you need to do is you need to reduce or simplify, however you want to call it. We always need to see if we can find that fraction in lowest terms, and we need to find what is the greatest common factor. What is the largest number that's going to go into both 16 and 24? Since they're both even, if you're stuck, you can just divide by 2 multiple times until you can't divide by 2 anymore. That's going to get you. But you know what? I happen to know that 8s go into both because I know my 8s, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24. So divide both by 8 over 8 because remember this is 1. So divided by 1 gets you the same thing. 16 divided by 2 it, 16 divided by 8 is 2, 24 divided by 8 is 3, and there we go. That is my equivalent fraction. Two-thirds of the class have two or more pets. The answer is C.